to my channel. I hope y'all are having a good day. I am doing a little playing around today. I got my jelly plates out. I have this jelly plate and then I have these little square triangle and circle jelly plates I'm going to play around with and I have a bunch of stencils that I'm going to play around with. So I did a little bit the other night. So let me show you what I've made so far. And so I was just playing around. I was using the big, this big one here. And there's that one. And then this one I did a little stamping on top. And then this one I did some raindrop stencils. And then here's this one. I just love how these colors are coming out. So I'll most likely use these for um, tags and things like that. Um, some of them I might use for uh, journal pages like this one. I could uh, use for a journal page and potentially this one. But probably, I don't know about that one. And then this was just where I was picking up my leftovers there. So let me get started and we'll do some more. I've been primarily using my Dilutions paints and I love her paints. I think they're very high quality and the colors are gorgeous. I think this one is probably my favorite one. I pulled out some more acrylic paints and I am going to play around. And I think I am going to try red, gold, and purple and see what happens. And if you haven't used jelly plates before, they're an interesting thing. It's this really squishy, it's, it's real squishy. I don't know how you describe it. And um, they come in different sizes. There's bigger ones, I think. And what's cool is you, you paint on them and then you push it down onto your paper or whatever. And it will transfer over to the paper. And if you put a pattern on here, then that pattern should transfer. And if you, and it's usually like the bottom, the bottom base that you put on here, it will show up as the top on your um, paper, which is very interesting. And I'm probably putting way too much paint on here, but we shall see. All right, and then use what's called a brayer. You can also use, um, if you have some credit cards, you can smooth it out with your credit card as well. But the brayer, I think, is a nice. And you just kind of go whatever motion you want to. And if you're not in love with... Oh, y'all hear my cat. The color. See, that's a lot of gold. So I think I want to add some more red and some more purple here and I just picked these these paints up at um, craft store they're fairly inexpensive. Um, and then the Dilutions, um, I got those. You can get the Dilutions ones at um, all the local stores, but you can also get them at scrapbook.com and, and um, rangerinc.com. Ranger's the one who makes them. And you just lay, you can layer and layer as much as you want. I'm going to stop it too and see what happens here. Because that is coming out. Yeah, so I got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. And I'm going to try a pattern. I want to try this one here. And I'm just going to put it down and 
just roll over it. And the pattern should imprint into the ink. There, you can see it there. I'm going to try and just press it down. And I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm going to try to put it normally, these are what, eight and a half? Yeah, so I'm going to try to put it on the page kind of like this. And then you just push it down. And you don't have to push real hard. And then you just peel it off. And there you go. So can y'all see that okay? I would have liked a little bit more of the gold to show through, but that's pretty cool. It's kind of shimmering a little bit now that I see it. Maybe as it dries, it'll show through more. That's really cool. And and before, when I was doing it on the other night, I was trying to, you know, do each section, but I don't kind of, uh, I don't like the breaks there. So then I got to thinking, well, I usually fold something in half anyway for a journal. So I could, you know, trim this down and then I could, you know, also I could paint around or I could washi or put lace. So I thought, well, I'll try this because I'd trim it down. It's a little too tall for most of my journals. But anyway, just having a little fun, a little go at it. And I think what I'll do is try to do something similar on this side and see how that looks. So it's really easy. You just, you know, put paint down on the gel plane. And I lifted up most of this paint. If there were still a lot of paint down here, I would take another piece of paper and try to lift the rest of that up. But really the most of it came up. So I'm just gonna go with it. Try to get most of the paint off the stick. I don't know if there's a better way to get the paint out of these little, I know you can buy the little tubes that the paint can't comes in, but I just, uh, for me, I'm still just kind of starting out. This was kind of a good, a good start for me. And so right now I'm just using this. And then I'll add just a little bit of gold. Gold is seems to be a lot stronger than the other two. It's probably because more putting more on there. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm liking that mix a little bit better. Well, the purple's still getting lost a little bit. Oh, that's that's nice. Let me do just a smidge more purple. Because I think the gold amount is good. And I'll just kind of go left and right and top and bottom there. Alright, so we'll put this back down. And again, just roll over it. Kind of makes that impression into the paint. You can see it a little bit. Hopefully it's wet enough. And then I'm going to try the back side. So same sort of deal. Push. I've learned that if you push too hard, any sort of pattern you've stenciled in gets smushed. So I don't push too hard. And then we'll pull it up. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a little bit lighter. I should, probably should have put more ink on there because I put more ink on that side. But that's okay. That's how you learn. You can see the stencil a little bit more clearly on this side. Mm, but yeah, the purple, not enough purple and gold came through. All right, we'll let that dry. Let me, I'm going to go clean off my stencil before it dries. For this one, I um, painted around the edges first. And then I put these in the middle. And I thought I can either stamp around these or I can darken up the edges. But I like how that, I still wish more purple would come through. So I think I'm going to have to put more purple on these. But I'm liking liking the results so far. Look at that. That looks pretty cool once you trim it down. And on the other side, I'll show you this as well. But I tried, I was watching Gail. Um, I can't pronounce her last name, so I won't even try. But she was just putting acrylic paint down on papers and then just do, using the brayer. And so I tried that on this. She was using uh, magazine pages, I think. So I'm thinking the paint must be slicker on that because here, um, I mean, it's kind of a cool effect how it came out, but there's still a lot of the white space showing, and I didn't like that. So I don't know if I might have to come back and add some more layers. But I like how that's coming so far. So let me change to some different colors. I think I have enough of these red, gold, and purple right now. All right, let's try some orange and yellow, and I guess this is like a, a peach color over here. Give that a go. All right, and I feel like you really need to put quite a bit of paint on here. So I'm going to try to more. I'm trying to wipe my excess off over here. <laughs> Maybe I can use that for some scraps or something. Tags or something or another. Give that a roll. Cheerful. Let's put a little bit of this peach on here. See if it even shows up. Oops. Sorry, I hear my husband coughing. I forgot to close the door to the craft room. Oh, I'm really liking that. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I'm trying to find a plain piece of paper to roll this excess off onto. Well, actually, I'll just roll it here. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. So now, again, I'm going to. Again. And I'm not going to put a pattern in it because I thought I might stencil over this one. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to press a little harder since I don't have to worry about it. It still will get smushed. Alright. Oh, look at that. <gasps> That's gorgeous. I feel like I could do one more side. I just don't think there's enough, so I'm going to add a little bit more, and then I'll do the other side. So I'll put the rest on this peach. Yellow. 
might have to invest in one of those bigger jelly plates. Started out with the small one just to see if I liked it, and I like it. Oh, that's cool. I don't know how my colors are looking on the camera. These are really just really pretty 1G color. And then I thought I might stent, put a stencil and stencil over these. That's really cool. So that could still work for a journal page, potentially. I haven't let that dry. Yeah, about, I guess it was about three years ago, I started getting back into crafting. I got a Cricut. And I was making all things Cricut projects. And then I came across Diane Reberly. And I fell in love with her products. She has paints and ink sprays. And her journals, journal papers are just lush. And so then I started doing a lot of mixed media. And then I stumbled across junk journals and I was like oh I'm in love and so I've been doing mostly journaling and things but I'm glad that I'm getting back into my paints because I love it and um, I also found Tim Holtz. His stuff's amazing too. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Alright, let's try putting this on here. Let's see what happens. I like his alcohol inks. I haven't played with those in a while. I'll have to get those back out. Let's see. I don't know if this will show up or not. Go. And then I'm going to just go back and do in the corner here. This one I can maybe use for tags or things. The other thing I want to do is play with the smaller jelly plates, so I'll do that in a minute, too. To me, when you hear that sound where it's peeling off, to me, that's a good coverage. Yeah, the alphabet didn't really work, did it? I don't see it anyway. That's right. It's still a really cool design. waste all that paint. jelly plate and then I am going to switch and play around with the smaller jelly plates
On the one with the letters, I took a look closer look and it looks like faintly see them, so I'm hoping maybe, um, oops, that, once they dry, they'll show up some more, I'll put this right there, and that's about straight. I do a couple of the smaller ones and then I'll wrap up this video. Oh yeah, I can kind of see the the little blocks. I had more of the peach come through on this one, interestingly. And I missed a little spot there. I'll try to pick that up. I'm going to clean this one off and then I'll get the little jelly plates set up. Here are my small jelly plates, circle, square, and triangle. And I am going to start off with the circle first. And I'm going to try this on the red, purple, and gold pages I did earlier just to see. Here, my husband sneezes. <laughs> Whenever he sneezes, he makes the scooby doo sound. It's hilarious. I'm gonna try this gear stencil. See if I can just get the gear. see the gear. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's try the square and the triangle next. You've seen the circle. Well, what colors do I want? What colors do I want? What haven't I used yet? How about some blue? How about some blues, folks? That might be fun. Clean off. 
off my brayer. All right. Let's try some different blues. I guess we'll do one at a time. I'm gonna go for kind of an ocean -y look. And that's probably way too much, but oh, that's good. Nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, I think I'm going to do these little circles. Oh, that's cool. Put that down on the paper. This has been so much fun. I hope y'all are still with me. Oh, look at that, y'all. Maybe I was brain too hard on my patterns earlier. That's why we do this, right? We practice so we learn. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm going to just do a couple more of those because I love it so much. Wow. Really happy with that. Yeah, these cheap acrylic paints are working just fine. I mean, I'm sure there's better ones out there on the market. But don't know if it really matters or not. Right. Okay, pretty ready. Let's do this again. Yeah, maybe I was pressing too hard. Live and learn, people. Live and learn. Okay. So, so pretty. I'm going to do a couple more. And I'm going to go a little bit lighter on here. And the same blue. And a little darker blue. You know, some of the ones that I really like, I think I might scan them, and then I'd have digital that can print them later. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. And I like this kind of mimics uh, ocean bubbles, sort of. I guess fish bubbles. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, a little bit of gold might look awesome on this. I have to try it too. I'm leaving gaps. I don't know if I should leave gaps, but it's just a learning process, folks. Ah, don't tip the paint over. Oh, you all, I can't. I just can't. It's so pretty. <laughs> all right, let's do the triangle before. And I might try a little gold. Oh, should I try a little gold?
gold? Should I try a little gold, folks? Should I? Should I? I think I will. Just a teeny weeny bit. Like a little mermaid. Oh, I wonder if I have a stencil. I feel like I have a stencil that has mermaid scales. That would be amazing. I'm going to have to look for that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oops. Oops. I'm trying to put these sort of close together, but not really close together. If that makes any sense at all to you. So I'm folding the paper. So I can have some little guidance. gold there's just a hint of gold it's um a metallic gold so i might have to add more but that's gorgeous so you can see how the squares the circles look um and so i'm still trying to learn and figure out like what all can we do with these but this kind of gives you an idea so let's just wrap up and I'll show you everything that we've made. And then I can go off and clean up and have some dinner. All right, so first off, we have this. And then we did this really pretty orange. And this has the big brick kind of pattern on it. And then this is no pattern. And then on this one, oh, it's dried. And so there's the circle that I stamped. And this is one I did another the other day. And I like how that looks. That's that's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Let's see. And that one the other day. And then here's the one. I really like how this turned out. And again, I did the circle on top. And then so I could maybe put some image on top of here, um, some fabric, something, you know, or put some, maybe some beading around it. Yeah, so I have to think about that. And then I just trim this off. And I might even maybe do some stamping on the edge once I trim it. I really like this one a lot. And then this, I did off camera, but basically I just put globs of paint down and then took my brayer and brayered over them. And then I've repeated that process multiple times. And I really like, and so you can really see that metallic paint here. Um, so I really like this one as well. But this is probably my, my favorite today besides the um, these here. And probably what I would do is do some more stamping or stenciling on top of that. And then I did do another... Um, orange, orangey, peachy, yellow color here. And I thought I did one more purple, but I don't see it. So I think that's what we did today. So again, thank you all so much for watching. And please leave a comment down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Tell me how much you love me. No, just kidding. You all have a great evening. And um, I'll probably come back in a future video and show you how I use these and what I make with them. All right, I will see you all in the next video. Love you all.